Major League Baseball. Remember them, you know, the sport that we'd normally all be talking about as the NFL ends their death grip on millions of fans in the winter and baseball brings about the thought of warmer days? It may be hard to think about the league given that virtually no activity that the average fan would be interested in has been going on since just after midnight on December 2nd when Commissioner Rob Manfred instituted a lockout. Since then, negotiations between the labor representatives for the league and players have been few, and movement toward a new labor agreement has been slower than Bartolo Colon on the base paths. Up until now, fans have held out that an off-season work stoppage was not much to worry about. That was then. This is now. This week the calendar will flip over to February and with it, the gap to get spring training off on time because more and more remote. Pitchers and catchers are scheduled to report on February 16. With the lockout, all free agent signings, all trades, all salary arbitration deals, and potential hearings, have been frozen. Like the flurry of activity that occurred just before the lockout commenced, so too will the clubs and the players need to engage to finish out the business of the offseason before the 2022 championship season can get going in earnest. Most everyone has pegged about two weeks for the unfrozen work to get completed. We're here. Key in all of this are two things, the players have to show that they will not lose another labor deal, the owners have to show they didn't give in. There have been signs that the sides can each claim victory with a bit of creativity. The best example centers on the want of the MLB Players Association to see an increase in pay to young players in the first three years of club control. Up until now, clubs have only been required to pay the league minimum. In the two recent days of negotiations, the sides moved toward the concept of creating a bonus pool for these pre-salary arbitration players, using MLB central funds, players would receive bonus money based on being top performers. One metric being discussed to rank the players would be through wins above replacement WAR. The players and owners have not around increasing the overall minimum salary. The owners offered up a 5% increase, which would be the lowest all-time, sans the labor deal just after the 94-95 strike which saw the minimum stay flat, while the players countered with a 31% increase which would be the biggest, ever.